Hi guys, it's Hans and this is week 85 of the Journal on Monday videos and this is a very very short one um, which I'm starting with some Inktense pencils, the big winner of last week's uh, poll on my blog. Um, the difference between Inktense pencils and other water-soluble pencils is that once they dry they're permanent um, in the same way as the Inktense uh, blocks that I used in a previous video. I'm mixing up several colors in each space on a stencil and what I like about these pencils is the intensity of the color uh, when you blend them. You will find all the details of the colors that I've been using on my blog in the ingredients list as usual. It's a very short video today, it's about 6 minutes long and it took me about 45 minutes um, to get it done. Adding a darker um, edge underneath every shape and now I'm going in with some water. Now I'm working on a wax sheet instead of working on my craft sheet as I usually do and I don't know if it was such a good idea because my uh, stencil kept moving around and I had a hard time keeping it in place, but that's okay because it gave me a very cool moving effect in the shapes on uh, the paper. And I'm also blending color per color so that I don't end up having um, the same color all over. Now, to make these colors permanent, I have to dry them completely before I go in with anything else. And now I'm going in with a dark gray to add some shading to it. And then again blending it with some water. I want to add some drippage so I melt my pencil directly in the water, then rub it on my wax paper and then add some more water. And then I can pick up the ink that I end up with, with my uh, brush and add some splatters on the paper. I'm still using the pencils to add some writing and as the colors underneath have been completely diluted with water and are completely dried they won't blend with what I'm doing on top of it. I'm working with some darker blues and they won't interact with whatever is underneath. I'm drying it halfway through and then I go back over it with some water to make it bleed just a little bit. So as long as it's not dried I can play with it but I don't want it to be all smudged. And now that it is completely dried I can go over it with a micron pen and add some black outlining to it. And then again adding some more shading to it by picking up the color directly from the pencil. Thank you. 
At this point, I got completely stuck because I liked what I had done, but I didn't want to put it just like that in my art channel, so I had to come up with something else without altering it. And that's where I remembered my sketchbook. I really liked how the colors were working together and the shapes as well, so I thought I'm going to put this in here. Now to make it work together, I did the same thing as I did inside um, the sketchbook. First I rounded the corners. And then I added some vintage photo and black soot distress ink. And to blend the Distress Ink, I'm using a baby wipe, just like I did in um, the sketchbook itself. And as the colors are permanent, I don't have to worry about um, blending the vintage photo with those bright colors. So this is one little step further in my sketchbook. I hope you liked today's video. Uh, don't forget to vote on my blog for the content of next week's video. See you there and have a happy one. Ta-da!